Hey Aries, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. Alrighty, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Aries. Let me move that. What's going on with Aries at this very moment and time? What does Aries need to know? For Aries. Let me give you one more shuffle. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, I grabbed two for some reason. We have Snake Rebirth, Black Cat Independence. Of course, with um, what was going on with the planetary shifts? It was something to do with the new moon or the um, retrogrades where Aries has come up heavily for you. It's all about independence. And I feel like the shifts, I for, I will read a whole page, a whole article about something and completely forget. But I know for a fact, independence is highlighted for you. You're an independent sign anyway, but your independence is extremely highlighted right now. That direction. So if you've fallen off the path of that, if you're just now learning this, independence is extremely highlighted. If you're worried about whether or not to take a selfish or independent approach right now this is your green light to do so overall energy is red squirrel conscientious because i feel like somebody's trying to ride your coattail or work with you or get something from you yeah someone wants to eat off your plate in some way shape or form or benefit off you or lean on you it's a no 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 don't i don't care who it is family friend co-worker lover child <laughs> what's Except if it's a little child, of course. But y'all know what I mean. Like, grown-ass person. No. They need to be taught independence, too. But you need to focus on you. Be selfish right now. Let's get into the tarot for Aries. Let's see how it connects to the reading. It's time for some tough love. Message for Aries. Okay, we have King of Cups, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could have a highly aspected in your chart. Five of Cups, Paths, Disappointments. Six of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Overall energy is the King of Swords. So it could definitely be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm getting Scorpio heavily, especially with Rebirth and the King of Cups. But I feel like in the past, things were not fair, things were not equal with a soulmate. They know it and you know it. And I feel like it's hitting them hard right now. But I feel like you've learned balance with Red Squirrel Conscientious. You're prepared for this. I feel like you're the type of person who has a savings or you keep more than enough just in case of contingencies or whatever happens. And this person knows that. So they, they rely on that. Instead of making sure they have more than enough too, they're just like, oh, if I fall short, Aries will pick up the slack. Because, and that, them thinking that way makes them like kind of selfish or lazy or reliant on you. Because yeah, you have a safety contingency or a backup, but it's a backup, not something you can bet on or count on or something that you should bet on or count on. It's a backup in dire situations. But I feel like this person... When they work, and for example, instead of making like, cause I feel like this person has the capacity to make a, like, I'll say 5,000, but they know that you have 10,000 in savings. So instead of making that five, they'll just make like two or 3,000 and then go get the rest from you. They'll like, they'll relax because they know you'll pick up the rest. That's the type of person you're dealing with. I feel like even though you love this person and you care for them, you've learned from this and so have they. But I don't really feel, I feel like they know they messed up, but this person is coming back. I feel like it's crocodile tears. I don't really, I don't trust them. Let me clarify this though. For Aries.
clarify this message for everyone. Clarifying the King of Cups is the Queen of Wands. There you are. Page of Cups, pleasant surprise, rebirth. So you're happy to see this person has realized their faults and they've grown up a little bit. It's a water sign. They've realized their faults and they've grown. I also see that you've grown as well. You're not sacrificing yourself too much for others at all. Or you're just done doing that in general. I do feel like you have a new lover here. Someone new. Clarifying the Five of Cups is the Queen of Swords. Here we are. Okay, so I don't know if you were just very cold in the past or you had to learn to be. But I feel like it's an air sign who has learned. Yep, Nine of Cups. They were relying on you too much. An air sign. When it came to finances or whatever, they were just relying on you. To, it's time to teach someone, again, tough love, independence. But I do feel, because I feel like at the same time, at the same time of you teaching this person tough love, there's someone new coming towards you, a water sign. I feel like this air sign wants you to regret this. Because I'm getting a very naive energy from this Queen of Swords. Maybe this was you in the past. You were very cold. Clarifying the Six of Pentacles is the tower. Yep, there you are. Equal give and take. Eight of Swords. Anxiety, worry. Clarifying the Two of Cups is the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, working together. There it goes. Page of Pentacles. Yes, because they weren't putting in equally over on Jesus six of swords you're tired of picking up someone's slack so just for an example say for instance you and someone were both like paying rent they were, you were both paying half but you constantly had to like put in for this person like you were supposed to pay 500 they're supposed to pay 500 but they only put in three so you always have to pay an extra 200 or they only put in two so you have to pay an extra 300 for them all the time or it became a habit to the point where you're like well no i only have this much i only have my half so you either put up or get out and it was tough for you to do that but you had to and this person was really hoping they called your bluff on it and you showed them the door or that's what's happening and it was tough love but they grew up they learned and I feel like it either that happened in the past or it's happening now. And it is, it, it hurts to see this. But you have to let this person see that you're not playing. I feel like this person's, they're hoping, like this Queen of Swords is like hoping like, oh my gosh, look at how anxious they look. I hope um, Aries is going to like, Aries is going to help me out. At first they were like, Aries is going to do it. And then after a while, started that date started creeping up. They were like, oh shit, Aries ain't going to do it. Aries isn't doing it. And they they were hoping you feel guilty with the Nine of Cups clarifying the Five of Cups. They were hoping you feel guilty or disappointed about the past. But you don't. I feel like this person, you're teaching someone independence a valuable lesson of equal give and take responsibility. And I feel like they're learning a valuable lesson. You're tough. You're giving someone tough love. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.